Okay, so now you've done, you found the mod pack itself, you've downloaded it and you saved it to a place you know. You now need to find your Minecraft bin. You need to delete the bin and I'm going to be opening the jars with WinRAR. So the first thing you need to do is find your Minecraft.jar which is located in your bin folder. If you're on Windows, you just do it like this. Uh, for Mac, I'm not too sure. There is another Mac installation video. I suggest you go look at that one. I'm sorry. However, you're going to want to go on to Start, Computer, your main drive, your hard disk drive, so it should be OSC, or it is for me, onto Users, your name, or whoever, well, or whatever account you're on at the moment. And then once you've got to that point, you need to click up where the source file is and type, make sure it's not highlighted, type forward slash app data, press enter. It should take you to this folder called local, local, low, and roaming. You want to click on roaming dot Minecraft, and then you've got all of this here. Is what you now need to do is I suggest backing up what you've got. And you can do that by just simply making a new folder on your desktop. Yeah, make a new folder on your desktop and call it MC Backup. You know, want to highlight everything in your .minecraft area, so your bin all the way down to whatever you've got. Press Copy, go into the Minecraft Backup and press Paste. This has now copied everything you've got, so if you do screw up and it doesn't work, you can put everything back. However, is what I'm suggesting we do for this video is you delete everything here. So what you want to do is you want to highlight it all and delete it. Your dot Minecraft should now be blank. Just minimize this so you haven't got to find it again. And you now want to load up your Minecraft. You're going to need to enter your information again. remember password but you want before logging in you need to go into options and do force update then click done and log in you should see it should now all be downloading again and is what this is doing is it's getting rid of everything that's not good in your minecraft.jar so this makes sure that when you download the mod it will be compatible it won't have any conflicts when it's being used in game you won't get things like random crashes or the downloading it should all load up properly you now want to whilst this is uh, downloading still you're gonna want to find WinRAR if you haven't downloaded it and download it I'm not going to be showing you that part just simply put WinRAR in Google and download it it's free and it doesn't cost anything once your Minecraft has created its new self you need to just close the game so that it's not running and go back to your Minecraft folder and as you'll see you've now got your bin and other things back you now need to go into the bin folder and you should see on mine there's little books because I've got WinRAR downloaded you should see the dot Minecraft the uh, you should see one that just says Minecraft or if you haven't got it set up as this it should say Minecraft Java with like a little Java logo next to it. You want to right click, go open with and WinRAR Archiver. This should give you a box that looks like this, not the dialog box. If you get that, just close it. You should get a box like this. You now also want to open your Zoms mod pack and that should look very similar to your .minecraft. This is the end of step two. Uh, look, f pause it catch up if you haven't been doing it as I've been going along and then go on to step three.